that suppose uh, all presidents will resign law, send up law, open election, how all by come back and law, sit down law provincial assembly. So this lay me cause him confusion. Some people presidents will me plato. I'll bring him this lay copy blow quota dan na tak sabe all time. All to buy deserve lo come inside law assembly. So me like uh, intergovernment relations minister and by clarify him this law honourable house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With the national general elections for council presidents expected to be in July, the Minister for Intergovernment Relations, Kevin Isifu, made it clear that if a president is going to run for office, he must resign and the power be handed over to the deputy council president. The secular that went out before the elections by the previous minister, Honorable Leo Dion, uh, it still stands. And the secular states very clear that if you didn't resign and you stood for elections, even if you don't resign, you have deemed to have resigned, which means you will no longer come back to the office. And the law states clear that uh, the deputy president automatically takes over as the president. East Sipic Governor Alan Bird then questioned the Prime Minister to further explain if there would be any changes made to the LLG elections. As uh, Chairman of the NEC, what his intentions are in relation to changing the elections process for Council Presidents? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill responded saying if any changes were to take place, it would be after the elections and the province will have the choice on how the elections would be conducted. Any changes that may be contemplated, uh, those changes will be happening after the elections. Uh, there is no point in uh, creating uncertainty in the minds of uh, our people right throughout the country uh, whilst, whilst the elections process is taking place. Uh, at the same time, uh, we have uh, also decided that uh, election of council pres presidents, either by the people uh, LLGs directly, people in the LLG directly, or by the ward uh, councillors, uh, will be optional. It's up to each individual province uh, to decide which option that they take. There are provinces in the country where uh, they, want, they wish to have the council presidents elected by the people. Uh, that is fine. And there are other provinces where they want the ward councillors uh, to elect the president. So we will uh, allow the options to the provinces. Adelaide Sirox Kari National, MTV News.